What is up, Loud and Proud fam? I'm out here with my cousin. We're getting ready to go over to his place and uh, hang out. But I wanted to do a review on all of my lights on my truck and kind of give you my honest opinion on everything because um, I've had the lighting on my truck for a couple of days now and I just thought, you know, what better time to do it other than, uh, you know, than when it's dark. So I figured that would be the right time to do it to actually get a real test on the lighting here. So I'm basically just going to, you know, get the truck on, pull it down the drive a little bit and give you like a little review around the outside on the and on the inside and give you my you know my opinion on how the lights look uh brightness quality color all that good stuff so i'm gonna have him kind of give his input too on what he thinks and we're just gonna go from there so let's get around the truck let me tell you what's on it first just in case you're stopping in for the first time and if you are stopping in for the first time definitely be sure and subscribe love to have you join the fam it's always you know videos coming out on the trucks truck builds stuff like that my tail lights these are they're the leds and they're just a bright red led tail light and they look really good obviously you got your reverse light down there reflectors in there you got your third brake light which has some white lights up there let's go to the front of the truck got to get my light on so you can see these these are spiders spider brand headlights they have the halos in them and the projectors with the led accent lighting on there very good looking headlight i've seen a lot of guys running them and they seem to really like them i love the halos and the look of them here's my ox beam 42 inch light bar this is a honeycomb series and i tested this out the other night and it actually came out really nice it's a super bright light i really really like it so thanks again, Oxbeam. If you see this video, I really do appreciate it. And can't wait to get more lighting from you guys because uh, I had a really good experience with that installation. Here's another light right there, my obviously my driver's side. So overall, the look of the lighting just gives the truck a totally different look, a more aggressive look, and I really do, really do like it. So we're gonna get inside here, gonna get all the lights on, pull down the drive a little bit so that the barn light's not, you know, kind of helping out here. and. Uh, get a, a better effect on the lighting I guess you could say and maybe a little bit of a test when we're going down my buddy's driveway here and test it down there when there's not a lot of light around too. Off-road purpose only for those light bars so we can't use it on the road so we're gonna get into the truck here and see how everything looks. Okay guys so I just checked that leak on my truck. I know um, those of you who are subscribed you know the last couple videos I had mentioned a couple videos back that I have a leak on my timing cover. There's a there was some residue around the edges of it and I don't think I got it sanded down quite good enough and so what it did is it allowed just a really really small gap somewhere around the bottom half of my timing cover which is allowing some oil to drip out and get down on my axle and everything the fan kind of you know blows it oil drips back on the axle and stuff and so uh, I wanted to address that and I'm still going to for sure actually probably like tomorrow the day after but I just checked the oil of it I'm still at the max line so obviously I've driven, driven it like this three four days and it has not leaked a substantial amount of oil at all so the max fill line and it's you know so it's fine it's not like it's really hurting anything per se right now but i'm definitely still going to address that. i just thought i would update you on the fact that it's not you know like draining oil it's just like a drip so we're going to get to starting up the truck here and uh get to testing out these lights And also guys, something I wanted to ask is when I start up my truck immediately, it starts off at like half the idle that it should be. And then it slowly after like two, three seconds bounces up to where it should be at around 800 RPM. So I just want to ask you guys if any of you guys else have, um, anybody else out there has had that issue, whatever it might be, if you guys could kind of point me in the direct, right direction of what that might be, might, you know, problem that I might have. It's always been like that with this truck. I just don't know what it is. So if anybody else has any suggestions or any other ideas on what that might be, definitely let me know. Now let's get to testing out the lights here. So right now I just have my halos on. So you're obviously not really gonna see substantial lighting out there. Let's see, let's see what the light bar does. <laughs> Holy crap. Look how bright that thing is, yo. It'll shine all the way down the core. Now I'm gonna turn this off for the neighbors because they're probably gonna hate me right now. You know, I'm just gonna go turn a little bit more towards not pointing at anybody's house and then get out and show you. But holy dude, this thing is so bright. I gotta show you before a car comes down the road and gets blinded. Hey, 
Anyways, you get the idea, it's freaking bright. So I'm gonna turn that off so I don't blind anybody. And I'm going to really quick test my normal headlights. There's my normal headlights. These are my projectors. And the, the projectors, I really like the projectors. They're fairly bright. They're definitely brighter than my stock ones. So that's what the halo and the projector running. Let's do just the halos. And the halos don't really make a lot of light out in front of the truck. It's kind of just a parking light, so they're not gonna be super bright. But, you know, that's not really the purpose of them, so they're not supposed to be, you know, blinding. Now, we're going to get down the road here, and how long is your lane? Like it's a good. quarter mile. A little over a quarter mile. Little, I mean, they've got a long, long driveway. What we're going to do here is we're going to pull up to his lane and see how far this light beams. I, Because, you know, where we live right here, I don't have enough distance to actually test how far that light bar can actually beam out there and, you know, get quality lighting. So this is gonna be like a really good test. We're gonna to get to, uh, and I really do apologize for this being dark. I just figured this would be the best time to make the lighting videos if you're in the dark and not in the daytime, I'm trying to show off your light. I'm gonna show you guys my brake lights really quick, my rear tail lights. Can you push my brake in a little bit here in a minute? Those are freaking bright, dude. And I'm also gonna show you my third brake light. Very, very bright. So, love my brake lights. My bullet, my blinkers are all super bright. Now, for the ultimate test, we're gonna get over to my buddy's house and uh, see how far this light bar can project down the driveway. We are on a loud and proud diesel trucks channel, so I'll get you a little exhaust note here. Just to kind of wake up the neighbors, let them know I'm passing through. Anyways guys, we're gonna get onto that driveway and test out this light bar. Okay, so we're on this driveway out here, but when I get on this turn here where it's slightly aiming away from houses, I'm gonna turn it on for you guys. That shines. It's hard to tell from here. That shines like all the way down there. That's crazy. I flicked them off really quick because I don't wanna be too much of a, you know what, blinding people at 10 o'clock at night. Man, I am impressed with that light bar. It's pretty sweet. I'm gonna call my buddy outside here and have him come look at the truck because he hasn't seen it with any of the lights on. Hi. Hey, what's up? Not much, what's going on? Are you at the house? Yeah, I'm in here. Yeah, come outside and check out my truck and all the new lights, bro. All right, I'm coming. Okay, so I got my buddy Jesh right here. He hasn't seen the truck with any of the lighting. So, what do you think of the lights so yes. far? They're pretty freaking sweet, man. Like, there's the halos on there is all you see right now. You see the light bar? What? What? You got a light bar down there? Yeah, he didn't know I got the light bar. Oh. Go look at that. Sick, dude. Good morning, loud and proud fam. It is the next day. I just wanted to come out here and recap this video for you guys. Kind of give you my total rundown opinion. I guess just overall third brake light, tail lights, headlights, of course. Would I recommend all this lighting? You know, I kind of did the video last night. I, I started this video yesterday in the dark to kind of give you a true look at all the lighting so you guys can get a fair view at night when the lights are much needed on your vehicle. And what do I think of the lighting on the truck so far between the Oxbeam light bar, which I will leave links to down in the description below for the Oxbeam and the promo code, the headlights on here, halos, projectors, spider headlights. Do I recommend them? Do I recommend my tail light? My honest opinion, freaking yes. They look phenomenal. Yesterday I got to see them in the dark 
everything together lit up and I mean it's hard to look at a set of headlights and see that they're super bright compared to a light bar but they are bright headlights compared to what my old ones were and I love them they have a very clear lens on them very good accents to them it just looks it just looks put together on the truck now and I'm really really extremely extremely happy with it so I would recommend them light I mean links for the headlights taillights third brake light light bar harness for the uh, light bar it'll all be down in the description below for you guys to go check out i really do appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best thank you so much loud and proud fam if you haven't subscribed yet definitely do that there's going to be tons of videos coming out I, I put out a video pretty much every single day i've done a video for 105 days now straight haven't missed a beat and it's because i love making content for you guys i really i really do enjoy it life is good if you guys could please definitely leave a like on the video leave a comment below subscribe if you haven't already join the fam i'll catch you in the next video peace Doing what I love, going day to day But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting Sometimes I contemplate cause One day you feel so close and the next is out of sight But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night Like if I'm about to let it go now I can live alright Live a normal life, doing 9 to 5 But I know I'm more than that I gained this skill, wasn't born with that At the end of the life it's a memory